Hey everybody, it's me, Lisa the Love Coach, Lisa Concepcion, certified professional love life strategist, coach, dating and relationship expert, coming to you tonight with the topic of self-pity. Are you throwing yourself a pity party? And are you like kind of fed up with the same BS over and over and over again? And are you curious? Like, why do I still attract the same stuff over and over? Like, why? Why me? Why? There's a reason. I'm going to tell you what it is so that you can stop it and you can start to pivot into power. Okay, so law of attraction states that which is likened to itself is drawn. What does that even mean? It means the thing that you put your attention on the most and you bang the drum of the most will be the thing that the universe serves up more of. So what we put our attention on, we just get more of. So let's say hypothetically you had a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you are obsessed with them and why they broke up with you and what they're doing and what's going on in their Instagram or what's going on on their Facebook and you are literally obsessed and you're wondering what was going on in their mind that made them choose to break up with you, what is wrong with them, if you could only fix them, maybe it's this, maybe it's that, maybe it's the other thing. Okay, stop, stop, stop. That very thinking is what is keeping you stuck. It is what is keeping you stuck. And so here's what I encourage people to do when they are in that situation where they are ruminating over an ex, finding it difficult to get over an ex. This could be months and months and months, years and years and years. And it's still this thing that's caught up in your energy that then you start to attract people who are just like the person who broke up with you or left you or whatever the deal is. You see it, you see the pattern again and again. When you see patterns, that is a telltale sign that you are reveling too much in the um, self-pity and banging the drum about the awfulness that happened instead of focusing on what you want next. So here's what you're gonna do. When you find yourself attracting the same stuff over and over again, and you find your life is a little sluggish and draggy and everybody else is moving forward and accomplishing things and you're a bit stuck, grab a piece of paper and a pen and write out your ideal life one year from now. Just write it out. Look at the date today and at the top of the paper, write, one year from now. This is a perfect time to do this. Any time is a perfect time to do this, but the time of this video is um, right along uh, soon to have a new year, right? And so these are the types of things that we start to assess and we start to look at. You can do this at any time though during the year. And it's something that you could do and revisit often throughout the year. Whenever you're feeling that a piece of your life is in stagnation or going slower, something that you want to speed up, something that you want to shift, Definitely grab a pen and paper, write down one year from now, and declare what your life will be like, your ideal life a year from now. And then read that to yourself and ask yourself, what can I do today to put that life in play now? And I guarantee you that, that you will feel better, you will raise your vibration, and from there, you will attract better, and you will get over what has happened, which is in the past, and you can't do anything about it anymore. And instead, you will focus on your bright, awesome future of your own creation. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna wallow in what happened? Or are you gonna get to creating what's next? I'm Lisa the Love Coach, and I would love to help you create what's next. I'm offering a special program that you can find over at lovequestcoaching.com, where every day I offer a free love life assessment that you can take over there at lovequestcoaching.com. So go over there, check it out. Feel free to help yourself to the downloads. Subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Hit the like and comment below with what you want to have happen in the year ahead. Thanks so much guys and girls, much love, bye.